Lesson 23 Inventory Reports In this chapter we'll discuss reports related to inventory the reports basically which shows the opening stock of the item quantity in quantity out closing stock or the current stock of the item along with its value so we'll in this chapter view reports related to all these basically in this chapter we'll cover stock status inventory book and inventory summaries report first of all we'll go to display menu and discuss the stock status Stock status report displays the stock status of items in terms of quantity and value. Quantity is calculated on the base of dual and inventory transactions and value is calculated based upon the stock valuation method you have specified. Basically, we specify the stock valuation method in the features option inventory tab. Stock valuation method specified there will be applicable for all the items. But if you have specified individual stock valuation method with each item then we will consider that for calculating the value of the stock. So in the stock status first of all we'll discuss the closing stock alphabetical detailed report here first of all we'll specify that we want to view the report for all items group of items or selected item and then we want to view the stock on a particular material center all material center group of material center or selected material center we are viewing this report for all the items across all the material center now a stock status window is appearing which is showing various report options will provide data in these report options here an option is filter item on optional field you can see in this report option an option brand is appearing because we have maintained master database only for this optional field so the optional fields for which you have maintained the master database will appear here and you can filter the report on basis of them we have selected the brand optional field we have specified the value as whirlpool and then we have specified data in various report options now in the stock status report we will show only those items who have value whirlpool in the brand optional field now again we are viewing the stock status report for all the items and we are not applying any filter so we are showing report for all the items and uh, we have not provided filter of optional field in this next we are viewing this report for balances only balances only report displays only the closing balance the item we are viewing this report for all items and all material center specify data in various report options here a field show total stock or book stock is appearing specify t in this data field if you want to view the total stock or specify b in this data field if you want to view the book stock of the items press f2 key and on the screen you can view the stock status balances only report which is showing only the closing stock of the item next we'll discuss the inventory books in the inventory books first report is day book day book displays all the transactions of an organization which affect the inventory sequentially for a date range specify data in various report options specify the date range and click okay button and on the screen you can view the inventory day book next is stock ledger stock ledger report displays the item wise information related to all the inventory related transactions of the organization sequentially for a date range you can view this report item wise or for merged items item wise report displays separate ledger for each item so we are viewing this report item wise for one material center we'll specify the name of the item specify the material center at which you want to view this stock specify the starting date ending date if you want to view bifurcation of free quantity and bill quantity also then you can specify yes in the show bifurcation of free and bill quantity option and on the screen you can view the stock ledger for the selected item it's showing complete voucher details like voucher number party name quantity in quantity out daily balances and so on next is inventory registers using inventory register option you can view various inventory registers in the standard format as defined by busy here you can see sales purchase sale return purchase return stock transfer stock general register are appearing here we are viewing the sales register for all the parties specify the starting date ending date and provide data in various report options and on the screen you can view the sales register with complete sales details like party name voucher number item details items quantity unit of the item and so on next is item day book item day book report displays the date wise transaction of an item which includes quantity in quantity out and the balance quantity on selecting the item day book option which is asking you want to view the report for one material center or for all the material center we are viewing the report for one material center now select the item select the material center at which you want to view the stock specify the starting date ending date if you want to view the value of items also you can specify yes in the show value of items data field and on the screen you can view the item day book that is quantity in quantity out and daily balance of the item next is your inventory summary in inventory summary our first report is daily balance 
Daily balance report displays the date wise closing balance of an item for a specified date range. Closing balance is calculated by considering the opening balance or adding and subtracting the transactions that have affected the inventory on a particular date. On clicking the daily balance option, first you need to select the item for which you want to view the daily balance. If you want to filter the report on any particular material center, then you can specify yes in the filter on MC option and select the material center. Then specify the starting date, ending date. And if you want to view the value of items, then specify yes in the show value of items data field and click OK button to view the report. On the screen, you can view the date wise balance of the item. We are again opening this report for another item and for this item also you can view the date and the balance of the item. Next is daily summary. Daily summary report displays date wise opening balance, quantity in, quantity out and the closing balance of an item for a specified date range. It specify the starting date and ending date and an option is provided show unmoved dates also. That is you want to view those dates also on which no transaction has taken place. We have specified no in this data field which means busy will now show for those dates on which any transaction has been taken place for this particular item. So on the screen you can view the daily summary. Next is monthly summary. Monthly summary report displays the month wise opening balance, quantity in, quantity out and closing balance of item. You can view this report vertical or horizontal. We are first viewing it horizontally for group of items. Specify the mid starting date, ending date and on the screen you can view the inventory monthly summary which is showing month wise quantity in, quantity out of the item and the opening quantity and the closing quantity of the item for that particular month. Next we are viewing this report vertically again it's asking you want to view the report for an item or item group we are selecting the item option that we want to view the report for a particular item select the item if you want you can filter the report on a particular material center specify the starting month ending month and click the ok button now on the screen you can view the monthly summary of the selected item so here you can see particular column for months then quantity in quantity out and the balance and at the bottom you can view the bar diagram for the monthly summary also next is consolidated summary consolidated summary again shows the opening balance quantity in quantity out and closing balance of an item item group for specified date here a lot of reports are provided like transaction summary minimum maximum balance check negative stock using check negative stock report you can view the negative stock if any for an item then is unmoved items unmoved items report displays the items that are not used in any transaction item wise discount then is item wise markup item critical levels Free quantity details. Free quantity details report basically shows the quantity of an item given as free. In transactions, we can specify the item quantity as 3 plus 1, which specifies that 3 is build quantity and 1 is free quantity. So, to view report for the items which have been given as free, you can view the free quantity details report. Then is stock aging FIFO basis. You can view the stock aging on FIFO basis. And then is the vendor stock details report. Vendor stock details report displays the details of stock received from parties, stock sold to a party and the quantity available. For this we are selecting vendor item wise stock option and then we are viewing report vendor wise. Here we are specifying the account master range as all that is we want to view the report for all accounts then item master again all items we have selected and on all material centers we want to generate this report. So on the screen you can view the vendor item wise stock report. These are all the reports that we have to discuss in this chapter. At the end of the chapter we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Hope after going through this chapter you would be able to easily use inventory reports in busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel.